Good morning, this is Mario Lane and I have a message. Now, this is based on my own situation. I seem to feel like I'm at a crossroads and so I'm going to ask the cards for some clarity. So if you're watching this and you're stuck with a decision, should I, shouldn't I, I'm not quite sure, let's see what guidance the universe has got for us. And then if this works out well, <laughs> fingers crossed, um, if you have any questions, leave them down, general questions, and I will ask the cards and share with everybody, because I'm sure if you've got this, this situation, this particular situation, then I, others would have it as well. So, okay, universe, um, just saying, can you please give me some clarity on my direction? You know, what, what would you like me to know? I know that sounds a little bit general, but then let's see how the cards respond. Ooh, really? <laughs> oh, the wasp. Anger, retaliation, and jealousy. Wow, that's pretty stiff <laughs> and pretty direct. So how's that in the connection to my situation or to anyone else who's watching this? These lower level emotions are holding you back from getting the clarity that you seek. Now... These may not be specific to your particular event or to you, but they are definitely lower level emotions. And so therefore I think this card is saying we need to clean up our um, emotional act, so to speak, before we will get the, the clarity and the, the signs from the universe about as to which path we should go. So I've got two decks here. I'm going to be um, mixing them up. So the next card in this is, oh, <laughs> but don't let that stop you reaching for your dreams. What have we got here? I am the creator of my own dreams and achieve them with confidence. So whatever you're desiring, you know, whichever direction or there's got to be some sort of, not got to be. Right now you may have a desire sitting in your heart, but you have no idea how to bring it to fruition. Um, this card, I believe, once we've cleaned up our emotional energy, is still asking you, is keeping you connected with that dream, with that desire. Don't give up on it yet, but let's see what strategies come up. Lady of the Lake. Ooh, here we go. So what have we got here? Absolute truth, courage, self-respect and responsibility. So, you know, following on, how committed and truthful are you to this desire? You know, there's so much that needs to be attended to vibrationally before the universe can actually deliver those dreams. And I'm, I'm feeling when I look at this card that, you know, there's worthiness issues attached to this. Can I do this? Am I capable? Do I have the skills? You know, Where's the money going to come from? All of these sorts of questions could be bubbling up. If you are wanting to, to pursue a certain path, but you're just not sure which way to pursue or whether it's the right way. So let me see one more card and we'll see how this message finishes out. We have here, at the day's end rest. I find peace in... Oh, sorry, let me show you. I find peace in nature, rest my body and my mind in order to connect with spirit. So this one here is actually asking you to, to stop, to let go of, of the thoughts attached to this situation, just to allow yourself to be, get yourself, you know, in that right emotional and vibrational space. Then things will start to shift in the direction that I believe is your, your path, your calling. And, you know, this is inspired by the energies of 2020 and, you know, being of service and, you know, providing a contribution that is to the benefit of all, whatever that contribution is for you. So, oh, it's a bit like an addiction. I can't stop. I want to pull another card. Okay, here we go. The stag. The stag is saying here, pride and leadership. So, you have the skills. You can do it. You can absolutely do this. But I, it comes back to the first card about, you know, let's get ourselves in vib the right vibrational space first, which means that, you know, there's a little bit of work that needs to be done on our part in order for this to 
you know, result in what we truly want the outcome to be. So let's ask for some strategies. What do you suggest? What? Right. <laughs> so, you know, the card was given to you, Murray Elaine. That was the answer I got. It was um, rest. Let your mind stop ruminating. It's good to have your visions and your um, imagination. Sometimes it's time to just stop, be at peace, let your mind rest, allow the universe to, <laughs> to guide you, to step in and, and present things to you because while we're constantly thinking, 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 we're actually putting more and more desires out there into the, um, to the ethers and <laughs> it's just like this big mass confusion is going out there so okay so in order for um, to get that clarity on which direction um, not there yet there has to be some calm some peace some some clarity some more meditation time just let it be for a while and then when the um, when the inspiration strikes you'll know you'll feel it that's when it's time to actually start taking some steps towards that outcome. So I hope that makes sense. Um, please leave a comment. And like I said, if you have a general question that I can consult the cards to see what the universe would like you to know and others, I'd love to, um, to read that for you. Okay, thanks everyone. Have a beautiful day. Should just add, I did a lovely reading on Sunday with a lady here in Perth. She messaged me. It was really, really powerful for both of us and if you are inspired to get your own reading i'd love to it doesn't matter where you are we can do this online quite easily via skype or zoom one of those modalities even facebook so please reach out send me an email i think my details are below um hello at murrayelaine-noble.com and yeah let's tee up time I'd love to love to have a chat and i can talk i can tell you i can talk <laughs> okay See everybody. Bye.